Hey, this is Adam. Thanks for watching this Monster Hunter cosplay cinematic. This is showcasing Dane her, and her awesome Odegaran armor build. All of her cosplays are super cool. Be sure to go check out her Instagram, her other social media to see more of her work. Links will be in the description below. Now, this is actually just a part of a larger project that we have in store, but I couldn't wait to show you guys, so I put a little cinematic together of what we have so far. I have three other solo shoots that I still need to put together, then the group shoot, which maybe it might be buying off more than I can chew, but we'll see how this all pans out. And just a reminder that if you enjoy these videos, consider subscribing to the channel, it really helps out. Now here's a little behind the scenes look on how the shoot went and how some of these shots came together. So we shot this at the Bellevue Botanical Gardens for this one. Just a heads up because I learned this on a later shoot. If you do plan to shoot here, the staff would like you to contact them and get a permit for the photo shoot or videography uh, for videography purposes. Uh, it's mostly for professional or commercial stuff they want to know about, but just to give them a heads up of what you're doing. Uh, anyway, so if we first started shooting at this uh, Tateuchi Pavilion, since the Odegaran armor fits a Japanese armor aesthetic, I was thinking this could be kind of the hunter's base or their room. I wanted to get some shots of their hunter like kind of mentally preparing and just kind of sticking to that samurai aesthetic. And for this one, uh, wanting to get in a more variety of shots, I tried to incorporate more handheld stuff as well, and just having that freedom to follow motion is nice. Now, I use the gimbal for the majority of, uh, majority of the time, not because I think gimbals are the only way to get cool and creative shots, but it mostly has to do with saving time. Uh, breaking down the setup and getting it to go handheld or on a tripod takes more time, and that's kind of the main fight for me, at least when shooting these kind of videos. Uh, a lot of it really depends on how I feel, though, comparatively. Um, I think from previous setups, uh, the time to reset isn't really that long, but it kind of really just depends on the momentum of the shoot and or if I'm really married to a specific look or feel. Anyways, after shooting at the pavilion, we headed into the ravine uh, to shoot where it was more forested, wanting to get in some nice in-game touches like Dane sharpening the greatsword, looking for tracks uh, for the uh, monsters, utilizing the scout flies which are used and seen in Monster Hunter World, our last location was in the meadows where there was room to swing the giant sword and op an open space to run. Uh, we caught it during the golden hour, so I really liked the lighting while we were there. Visual effects wise, I animated the scout flies using Trapco particular, uh, using particle emitter and making particles fluorescent green like from the game. And this one was really experimental, you know, I composited a Rathalos in this shot of Dane walking in the field uh, with the sword and I felt like it was kind of this really cool epic angle. Uh, kind of seeing it as up close as it was. Um, I actually got this model and animation from uh, Yandrick 3 d uh, a long time ago, kind of at the start of the pandemic, and he was kind enough to let me use it for the video, which was only three years later. Uh, to put this shot together, I used Element 3D, and I took the 3D OBJ sequence of, Rath of the Rathalos flying into the plugin. Uh, then camera solved for the scene to apply tracking data to bring in the 3D model as well as applying its textures. Then figuring out where to place the 3D model in the scene. Now I could have placed the model further back and smaller in the scene, but I felt like it would be cooler to see uh, to see it up close and have it make it feel bigger than life. Uh, in doing that, I made it a huge like rotoscoping pain in the butt because the wings clipped through Dane, and I was determined to make it clean and like really make the mask look as good as possible. Um, let me tell you, it took a really long time to be satisfied with it. Uh, I almost <laughs> almost to a point where I might have regretted doing that. <laughs> so that about wraps up what I did for this one. Uh, don't be surprised to see these shots uh, reused in the main Monster Hunter video as, you know, what was intended. Uh, visuals or the effects and possibly shot selection are subject to change depending on how the rest of it's coming together. Definitely juggling, uh, juggling back and forth between our video projects as well as getting uh, those planned out and shot, including some more Genshin content, of course. Anyways, I hope you look forward to our future Monster Hunter videos and other cosplay cinematics as well. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, you're in the shot, Nicole? Oh my god, I lost my shit! <laughs> I'm afraid of that last one. <laughs> Are we backing up with you okay. too? Oh. Are, you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Are you? Are, oh yeah. God, I, I, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> she got carded. <laughs> she got carded. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I feel it. It's slow motion. It's always slow motion. <laughs>